What's up you guys? Welcome back to the channel, all you new subscribers, I'm Barboss. Today, it's gonna be more of a chill day. I'm watching the news right now, and there is a lot of looting that went on. And I kinda wanna drive around and see what kind of damage all these looters have done. And also, we're gonna be running a few errands, a few things that I have to do. And I don't know if you guys remember, last year, we sent a package out to a YouTuber. We send the package out to Young Static. Well, this year, we're gonna be sending another package out, but it's gonna be to a different YouTuber. So let me make myself a coffee, and we'll go ahead and start our day. Pretty nice day out today. It's about 60 degrees out. Those polies right there. Well, either way, it's about 60 degrees. Um, yeah, so the YouTuber that I have chosen to send a package to is gonna be James D. Guy. And that's because all he does is work on these D16s, like the one that I have. And I know that he could use a short shifter from watching his videos. So we're gonna go ahead, take this short shifter apart, get the bushing out from over there. We got this bushing right here. And we're gonna go ahead and send this to him. And since I have been blessed by a subscriber um, by getting a, a shore shifter, which is right here already installed, I don't have to worry about not having one for my transmission. I bought these gloves at Harbor Freight. These are, they're like rubber gloves. They're the seven mil. And man, these things are really thick. They're, there's a whole box that I bought and I kind of bought these so I could go to the store but these things are like so thick that I don't even want to use this to go to the store can I just want to use these for working in the garage they feel weird they're too thick they feel like weird but either way let's go ahead and Start taking this apart. So I got this bolt off. We're gonna go ahead and include this with the package. This was just like a bolt that I had rigged up myself. It's kind of like these bolts that are right here. Both of these bolts I rigged up myself because this was so rusted out that the old setup that was on there i could not use so i'll go ahead and send these just in case he needs some on his and his setup all right this bolt is stripped out so i'm just gonna go ahead and use a grinder cut it off 
I do have these two bolts right here that I'm gonna send them. So if you're watching this, James, check it out. Fits right through here, just like that, with the nut underneath. Yeah, if you guys don't know who James the guy is, you guys should look him up. He's got a lot of Honda content. He's got a lot of uh, paint jobs that he does with uh, rattle cans. He's a really cool guy, always uploading videos constantly. He also is the owner of the Honda, the Texas Honda channel. So I would go look up those two channels and subscribe to him. Cause he's got a lot of cool content. I almost forgot, safety first. I'm gonna cut this off. Pretty much it. This is pretty much ready to be shipped out. I'm gonna go ahead, wipe it all down, clean it up really good, and then we're gonna head to, to go send this. So I will see you guys in a few seconds when we leave the house. All right, so we're gonna be heading out. I got the shifter right here. I got it packed a little bit. I just gotta get a box or something to put it in, like an envelope. I got all the bushings right here. And then I got some stickers for them that we're gonna send them. So let's head on out and get this in the mail. Also, it looks like it's gonna rain, but look at how nasty this car is. And it's from all these birds. Look at this. You guys see all this? So I might just go to the car wash and just do like a cheap $4 wash. Just to wash all that. Beep. Oh. oh. Wasn't supposed to cuss. So the first thing we gotta go do is I gotta get a sticker for my plates because my plates are expired and this place has been closed and this car is due for emissions so obviously I couldn't get a sticker because we gotta get emissions so we're gonna pull in here see if we pass emissions see what's going on all right so I just pulled up to the place right here and I'm still about a quarter mile or more from the place and there's probably like 75 cars in front of me so this line goes all the way to where that sign is that blue sign and then it makes a right turn and then it goes down for like about a little bit more than a quarter mile and it's all cars so I think we're just gonna have to come back later because I'm not doing this We're gonna take a look down that street so you guys can see. Wow, yeah, there's no way I'm gonna wait here. 
There's way too many cars. I'm just gonna have to come back tomorrow really early, like half an hour before they open, try to get a good spot. Um, let's head to the next spot, the next thing that I gotta go do. All right, here we are at the post office. Let's get in there and get this stuff sent out. So I'm out of the post office. I went ahead and I sent the package and I will definitely put the link in the description down below. So when he receives it, you guys can see an unboxing most likely. So I think we're gonna have to hit that place tomorrow for that sticker. Um, let's drive around and see if there's any damages from all these riots and stuff. I did see a lot of things on TV that I did recognize that's, that's around here. Let's take a little drive and see. Some damaged windows right there. This is pretty much the area where the damages took place. They got the McDonald's closed. This place was burning after midnight for a few hours. The gas station over here got looted. You see all the windows busted. This was all in the news. They hit this liquor store that's on that side and they also hit this gas station. They emptied out that gas station. I was watching that through the news. They completely emptied it out. The bank got busted in. And that bank over there, they busted out all the windows to that one. And then they lit the backside on fire. The ATM was on fire. And then there's a bank behind me on the other side. And that one was, uh, I think it was busted up also. It looks like they, they hit the jewelry store over there. All the windows are boarded up also. Jewelry store over here too. We're back at the house and that is a lot of destruction that they did throughout the whole city. All right, well, this is gonna be the end of the video. I'll catch you guys on my next one. Till then, peace out, stay safe, catch you guys later. Thank you.